Hi Founder fans, Jason here and today's founder is Pierre Charles L'Enfant, who is most famous for being one of the main architects of Washington DC. But today we're going to focus on his career before that, what made him successful in the first place. So Pierre Charles L'Enfant was born in France, if you can't tell from the accent I'm trying to do, uh, and in France he was the son of a famous portrait artist. So he was fortunate enough to go and study painting at the Louvre. Yeah, the Louvre. But he actually left his studies early because he heard these rumors about fighting for liberty over in North America. So he went and met with Silas Dean, who was currently kind of handing out officer positions in the Continental Army like hotcakes, and he gets one. And he signs up as a lieutenant because he really had no military experience, so it's a little surprising he was given any command, but he signs up as a lieutenant, which is a relatively low-ranking officer, and he sails to North America. And once he gets to North America, his, his boat arrives in Charleston. And right away, he gets off and he starts to help with fortifications because he was expecting to be part of the engineers. So he helps fortify Charleston. And as soon as he's done, he goes up to Philadelphia and goes to the Continental Congress and they say, no thanks. You see, the French... Now, a lot of French people were coming over and trying to take positions that were for officers, and many Americans were getting upset that they were getting passed over for these Frenchmen. So, the Continental Congress started denying these Frenchmen that Silas Dean was sending over from France. L'Enfant was not to be deterred, though. He ended up going straight to Valley Forge, where he helps Baron von Steuben, who had recently started reorganizing and very much improving the Continental Army, and L'Enfant's work with Baron von Steuben brought him to the attention of several other people, notably an old friend of his, uh, the Marquis de Lafayette, who was also in Valley Forge. Uh, and after witnessing some of the good work that L'Enfant was doing, well, he said, can you do me a favor? I have this friend named George Washington, and I'd really like a picture of him. Can you sketch his image for me? L'Enfant, of course, jumped at the opportunity to sketch the Commander-in-Chief. Now, unfortunately, that sketch has been lost to time, but let it be known, everyone was very pleased with it, and Washington took a, li a liking to the young Enfant. Shortly after this, the Continental Congress realized their mistake and decided to commission him not as a lieutenant, but promoted him to captain and gave him back pay. And I should note that when they first denied him, they did offer to pay for his return voyage home and paid him for the work he had already done in Charleston. So at this point, L'Enfant has established himself both with the Army and with the Continental Congress. Then he goes to the Southern Department to help fight the war down in the South. And he participates in the Battle of uh, the Siege of uh, uh, Savannah, where unfortunately he is wounded, but luckily he heals very quickly and is able to take pl uh, part in the Siege of Charleston very shortly thereafter. Now he had, like I said, def already fortified Charleston, and when the British come this time, L'Enfant is captured, and he's actually held as a prisoner of war for almost two years. At this point, his fighting for freedom was done, the war was coming to a close, so L'Enfant does return to France. But it wouldn't be too long, just a few years later, he would get back on a boat and sail to North America, where he would establish himself not as a painter, but as an architect, one of the important early architects in American history, and as I said, one of the main players in creating Washington, D.C. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit like and subscribe. If you're new here, uh, I put out videos five days a week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.